Well, here I am in uh, snowy, snowy, snowy Jersey. Um, everything stopped. There's two inches of snow on the on the runway, so I cannot get to Alderney or Guernsey. I'm over here to see an ankle specialist in uh, Guernsey. Uh, a ULM flyer, by the way. Um, this summer, since I got out of prison winning the machine gun case uh, on the, in early February, I have discovered that um, on the 8th of June last year, the South Wales Police uh, licensed me as a Category Level 3 um, uh, mapper uh, man at large, uh, top 5% of the most dangerous people uh, loose in our community. Uh, the internal memos leaked from those around the table, that's prison, probation, police, uh, social services, uh, most likely county council, and a few others. It's clearly stated that the chief constable had an armed police unit day and night, and that should I approach her again, that's Barbara Wilding, now retired, um, to exchange mutual uh, exchange of witness statements for the 18-year running civil action, I would be sh I was likely to be shot. Interesting, isn't it? From the 8th of June, they had that meeting, and they left me for three, two, two uh, until the 22nd of June before they decided to use an armed police unit and helicopters to arrest me. That's one little shiver that went down my spine. The other shivers that are going down my spine is the referred pain from this overdue hip replacement operation that is due, was due in May and has been put off and off because two NHS doctors and the NHS uh, Health Service of South Wales are refusing to release the medical records created in October, November, December, January, February of last year and the beginning of this year. Uh, Professor Roger Wood of Swansea University and Dr. Tegun Williams, the director of the South Wales Psychiatric, uh, Threngic Psychiatric Prison at Bridge End, both falsified documents, and one, if not both, were present in court before His Honour Judge Bitter QC on the 2nd of December, and the tape recorder was deliberately switched off. The court will not, HMS courts, HM court service will not give me uh, a copy of the court logs. And it's straight conspiracy, for want of a better word. But now, the anaesthetist to do the, up and, and the surgeon in the Vale Hospital in Hensel, in the Vale of De Morgan, are refusing to operate because they know there is more record. Because in that record, they, the two doctors tried to persuade a Cardiff Crown Court judge that I had significant brain damage and possible brain tumour. Now it's interesting that 10 no less Crown Court judges failed to tell me that I was under MAPA surveillance and that is why I was being refused bail from June of last year until I won the trial in early February. Uh, the issue now is that it's becoming clear that it's HM Court Service that should be investigated. Under Her Majesty's prerogative, here I am standing in uh, the lovely settings of Jersey, one of uh, the dependent territories of Her Majesty the Queen, or who they would say here, the, the Duchess of Normandy. Uh, the people of Guernsey and Jersey uh, uh, place their allegiance with Her Majesty, not so much with the government of the day of the United Kingdom. Isn't it interesting? There's a warrant out for my arrest at the moment, and uh, I failed to attend a court in Cardiff Magistrates on the 2nd of December for an alleged assault on a HM official in Cardiff Crown Court who was refusing to accept and my grounds of appeal to the Criminal Court of Appeal, because I had just served a month prison sentence this summer, Judge Cook refused to investigate the matters to which I have just referred. 
I offered him the information, but by way of a file. Um, it arrived by airmail uh, once I realized that he was going to leave the court without examining the proof. That's that small matter. But now I'm waiting for another magistrate's case at, at Barry Magistrates on the 1st of December. And they've asked me to supply the medical records again from my psychiatrist, from uh, the, uh, my GP, who's written so many documents now for the court, and for the radiologist, uh, consultant radiologist, um, and one other, ah, the specialist from London who explained to me what she thought was the reason for my 40 years of police harassment, 35 years of police harassment. And that is that people in positions of power, if they lose control over you, they tend to lose their temper. Of course, in Somerset, when I lost my driving license back in the 70s, early 70s, I used my aircraft to fly around my farms to my clients. And they complained to the Civil Aviation Authority, who, who rebuked them heavily to say, don't interfere unless he is breaking the law. The same has, has occurred now in Guernsey, because after they took my driving license, I used my boat to commute around the outside of the island and to Alderney, where I was also the veterinary surgeon. Here in South Wales, since when I arrived in 92, I've, had, I've suffered daily harassment, surveillance, and the civil action is now starting to unfold. But if I go back to prison, it'll be because they want me to Broadmoor. They want me IPP, imprisonment for public protection. All a bit of a nonsense, isn't it? what I said outside the Royal Courts of Justice a few days before I was arrested. And that was when I had in the Crown, in the Judicial Review application, his uh, HM Attorney General, the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons and the South Wales Police, all of them in front of the judge. But that's history. But unfortunately, one of my failings, one of my many failings is I will not forgive and I will not forget. I'm hoping to change all that before I stop breathing.